Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I am finally filming my February language recap and I actually was debating to film or not to film it because it's already the middle of March and I didn't have time to film and then I wasn't feeling like it and then it was really gloomy and dark and I was like maybe I shouldn't do it anymore because it's like so late already but then I thought you know what my goal was to give you at least a little bit of an update every single month and here I am here is my February language recap so without further ado let's get started all right so I have my language notebook here and I'm gonna be looking at it from time to time because every month I write a recap for like overview of the entire month and then for each language and I'm just gonna look because I don't want to forget to mention something that might be quite important so overall in February I feel like I did a lot less than in January if you watched my January recap you know that I spent almost 40 hours of learning languages and I was very motivated and I was energized and I made sure to uh, study languages when I came from work and everything and I studied so much during weekend but it wasn't the case for February so February is the shortest month of the year and I I didn't have much time and I didn't have much energy I don't know what's wrong with me but I've been feeling so exhausted and so lethargic and even when I have time I just never sit down and study languages and I just felt so lazy and the pattern is continuing into March and I am just feeling so so lazy and so exhausted for example, after I come from work, uh, like yesterday, I came from work before 7 and I felt so exhausted that I didn't even eat dinner and I just went to bed and I watched a few videos and then I was so exhausted I couldn't keep my eyes open and it was before 8 p.m. and I fell asleep in 5 minutes and what uh, what would I do, what would I learn if I am so exhausted? So I don't know, maybe I should take some vitamins and some supplements and I just really don't know what to do because I feel so I don't feel like myself and I I just I just don't like that because I loved learning so much in January but yeah in February I like counting all of the hours and everything from my language uh, journaling app I I saw that I spent 21 hours on language learning which is pretty good considering that February only had 28 days this month so it was almost an entire hour every single day and I don't know why I felt like I didn't do nothing but it certainly feels like I almost did nothing and I know I shouldn't be comparing month to month because life is different every month and the energy levels are different the motivation is different and you know what happened at the end of February and it's just it's been crazy and life is just life is just so stressful and crazy right now that I don't know I shouldn't be I shouldn't be blaming myself and I shouldn't be like beating myself up for not spending every free hour on language learning when life is so so crazy and so yeah in february there were some days when i did absolutely nothing either because i was so tired as i told you or because i was just lazy or because i was so stressed that i was just reading news constantly and i was spending most of my time on instagram and facebook like reading those news and like wanting to know what's going on and i just I just didn't spend time on languages and I I don't want to dwell on it and I just want to move forward so let's go to language number one and the first language that I want to talk about is Italian so at the beginning of February I decided that I really want to focus on one language at a time and I just wanted to try and see how it goes and I decided to do it with Italian and then learn all of the other languages as I go maybe just like listening to podcasts here and there watching video here and there but mainly focusing on Italian and 
while I did spend a lot more time in Italian than on other languages, I I think I'm not gonna do that anymore and I think I'm gonna just like I don't know, I I felt like it's better for me and I maybe it's because I was so used to that and I changed it up so drastically and so fast that I didn't feel really comfortable with that and I felt like I'm not making progress on other languages and we, we're going to talk about that but yeah in Italian I definitely spend a lot of time on memorize I did a lot of my textbook and I am slowly but surely moving towards the end of the textbook and I am really happy about that and then in February I also filmed a video in Italian I'm gonna leave it down below it wasn't really great and I am still struggling a ton but keep in mind that I have been learning Italian for a year and a half and I am still happy with my progress considering everything so I spent 12 hours on Italian which is the majority of what I did in February but I feel like it was a mistake because I kind of forgot about all of the other languages languages and yes as I said I was spending a lot of time on memorize and with my textbook learning new vocabulary grammar and reading a little bit but I was definitely lacking on listening and I am still not reading and I am happy that I am practicing speaking a little bit more this year than I did last year because last year I almost didn't speak at all but this year I'm pushing myself to speak a lot more and I am happy with that but I definitely should be reading and I definitely should be writing because that is also that is also amazing not just like inputting the language but also outputting the language you know what I mean right let's move to Spanish so with Spanish I was really struggling with Spanish in February and I I still don't know where to go and what to study and I still don't have a certain plan and I think I told you in one of my videos, I don't know if it was January recap or one of the study videos, I really want to make a plan but I just don't know where to start and what to do. I made a plan in January and then I never stuck to it and I think it's better if you have a teacher who can make you a plan or you have a textbook that you're following that is like already a plan but yeah I am struggling a lot with Spanish but one thing that I really really liked about Spanish is that I tried talking with myself a lot more I I just set up a camera and I I was talking with myself for 15 minutes and if I didn't know a word I would look it up and yeah it was just an amazing experience I'm gonna try to do that again and I actually only spent two and a half hours in Spanish in February which is which is absolutely insane it's ridiculous I've never spent this little time on Spanish in in the past like six seven eight months but yeah I don't know I don't know that's just life and I, I don't really have anything to tell you about sp Spanish so yeah that is just life and I I just want to be raw and honest and if I don't spend time on Spanish if I don't do 10 hours of Spanish I want to share it with you because as I said life is crazy and you can't always be on top of things so let's move to Lithuanian and in February I didn't do any textbook kind of studying which i did in january i was studying from nedianos belietovi kalbos and i was also studying from pictionary in january however in february i was mostly just listening to podcasts and i actually found a really really cool podcast that i like it's called audioteca and it's an interview with different people with different writers actors and stuff like that and the interviews are almost one hour long so i watched not watched I I listened to like five of them so I spent five hours and 24 minutes on Lithuanian I also watched a few videos by some Lithuanian youtubers but that wasn't much so it was mostly just listening as you know at the end of January I decided to revive my German to bring it back to bring it to a new level and I still haven't made a video about that and about why I'm doing it and why what my plan is but that is coming I promise and 
Yeah, I honestly did not spend lots of time in February on German. I only spent one hour and 19 minutes and I watched an episode by Easy German and I was studying the vocabulary from that video. So basically I created a like a table in my journal with easy German episodes that I'm in, uh, that I'm interested in and basically I I watch the one that's um, giving directions so yeah I definitely should I definitely should spend a lot more time on German I definitely should spend a lot more time on languages in general in March and coming forward but I I just don't know life is just I just I just don't feel like myself in this time and it's not that I am depressed but I just I just feel down and I don't feel like myself and I I don't know I want spring I want summer when I feel a lot more energized and I want I want to feel motivated again and I want to study it but as I said I don't want to beat myself up for not doing everything that I can and not spending every single minute and I just want to move forward and hope that future is better so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was a little bit interesting i don't know but yeah please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you very soon bye